Okay, let's take some squats. Here we go. Down and up right here. Squat it nice and low. Warming up those legs. On your squats, take it a little deeper with each one. And then let's take our squats wider. We're going to go to a wider squat before we move on with our warm up. Good. So glad you guys are here. Bring it back in and we're going into reverse lunge. So just take that leg back, bend it. You got it. And we're going to move into some lateral lunges, right and left. Lateral lunges. Good. Pushing your butt to the back. I'm coming to you from hot, humid Houston. <laughs> so I'm going to have a full sweat going by the end of the warm up for sure. One more each side. Although I heard it was pretty. Warm and Austin today too. Now we're going into that cross back lunge. So I just want you to take one knee behind the other, sit it nice and low. Keep taking it down, that's good. We'll go about four more, four and three and two and one. Now we're gonna move into those single arm, single leg reach. Take it down, reach it up. Other one, down and up. You got it. Reaching down, reaching up. Good. Keep it going. Nice work. Two more. You guys look good this morning. Good balance. And let's just lift those knees up in front right here. Take those hands behind your head and we're gonna add a rotation. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Inchworms, get to the back of your mat. You know, I love these. Take it down for your hamstring stretch. Walk it all the way out. Hit your push up, knees or toes. One arm out. Dragonfly stretch each side. And walk it back up. Let's go again. Walk it out. Hit your push up. Take that uh, foot nice and wide outside of your mat. So we really stretch out those hips. Let's go two more times. Open up right here. Walking it back. One more. All right. Take some front and back movement. Run it front, run it back. Start reaching down low, touch the ground. We're doing one minute sets today. We have 12 exercises. One more. And take it to your grapevine. Cross those feet over. My feet are doing funky things this morning. They're not going. <laughs> Cross and cross. And side shuffle. Let's make it a descending side shuffle. Start tall, start inching down, warm those legs up at the same time as your heart rate. Good. You got it. Four, three, two, one. All right, walk it out. Walk it out. Woo! Nice. Okay. We are going to start our um, set. <laughs> Sorry. 
got a little tongue tied. I was making an adjustment here on my screen so I could see everybody better. Now, we have one minute set. We have 12 exercises. You're gonna, I will give you a little bit of time, 15 seconds, that's not a lot, in between to uh, tell you what the next exercise is and move on. This first one, um, no big deal, it's just that back kick run. So we're just gonna go into a back kick run. Ready and go, right here. Now you know your options. You can just do this without your high impact and still have high intensity. Let's vary it up, pick those knees up in front and lean slightly back. I like to switch that up, picking the knees up, up, up. Good, now how about those heels up again? Woo, I got so excited I kicked my mat out of the way. We're doing awesome, we have 20 seconds to go. Pick your knees up again. And heel them back. If you wanna move this around, you can. You can stay in one place. Woo! And walk it out. Inhale, exhale. Okay, we're going to our mat in a high plank. We're gonna do that high plank, low plank. So hand to elbow. Take it down, we start in five seconds. High plank, ready, low plank, high plank. So switch up with hand. It's picking your body up and taking it down. Switch up that lead arm. Keep going. Anytime you need to, you just stabilize in your plank, high or low, and then go right back to it. You got it. One thing we're working on is not having movement in our core. So keep your hips stable. Keep going. You're doing great. A minute, we've been doing a lot of 30 second sets. So a minute is gonna feel pretty long, I'll be honest. <laughs> Woo! But we're strong, we can do these. Keep your glutes and thighs squeezed. Eight seconds, almost there. And rest. Okay. We're gonna just stay on our mat. We're gonna do a push-up and a knee tap. So one push-up, one knee tap. Push-up, other knee. Ready, go. Push-up, knee tap. You're reaching across. You know, anytime we do cross-body reach, we work our brain and our core. You got it. Woo! Push up and knee tap. Okay, switching it up. One push up, both knees. And then go back to your push up. Knee, knee. Now your butt does come in the air in that downward dog. And if you want to try to go lower and really reach for your shins when you do your taps, you can. That would make your butt higher in the air. Woo! 10 seconds. I'm gonna watch yours. You're doing awesome. That looks good, you're almost there. Three, two, one. Woo! All right, stand it up. We're gonna come off those wrists for a minute. We're doing speed skaters and jacks. So one speed skater, one jack. All right, ready, go. Speed skater, jack. Speed skater, jack. You got it. Woo! You know, you can take that speed skater low. Uh, it's just really a big side step when you only do one. Here would be a medium intensity. You would not come off the ground. Medium impact, I said it wrong. Woo! Can always be high intensity, high, medium, or low impact. 
Woo! 10 seconds. Last one. Woo! Nice. Grab your weight. Grabbing our weight. All right. We're going to do a cross back lunge like we did in the warm up with a bicep curl. Here it is. Let's go. One knee behind the other. Bicep curl. You got it. Take your time on these. Let your heart rate drop a little bit. Good. Nice. Looks so good. We have, oh, I'll tell you how many seconds in a minute. <laughs> Woo! 20 seconds to go. I started to tell you when it was 30. That never feels encouraging. You gotta be over halfway. Feel that countdown. Y'all, we're getting core, legs, and upper arms worked. Last one. Woo! Put one weight down. One of them. Okay, the other weight you're gonna do my weight is rolling away. You're gonna do a reverse lunge, stand it up, and a squat. Stand it up, all right? Ready, go. Lunge, lift, squat low, lift. So it's a backward lunge and a side squat. And the reverse lunge and a side squat. You got it. Woo! Down low. Nice job. Good. Yep. Oh, we got to change legs. Let's go. Nice. Two more, down back, one more. Awesome. Okay, we're gonna do that snatch next. So on a snatch, I'm gonna run grab my other weight in a sec. But you're just taking this weight all the way up, all the way down. We're gonna switch arms every time. So it's a flow up and a flow down. Ready, go. Right here. Woo. Now, ideally, I might have two weights in front of me if one didn't roll away. And then I would just have it ready. But I'm kind of noticing that with the one weight, I reach across my body, which is cool. So a little more core. Oh. Things you learn when your weight rolls away. 15 seconds. Woo! Last one. Even up your sides. Woo! Nice job. Ha. Huh. Okay. We only need one weight. Good thing for me, right? For the next one. You're gonna do walking lunge, but you're gonna pull this weight by your front leg. Then lift it up, front leg, lift it up. Ready, let's go. So you're gonna walking lunge, lift, lunge, good. You got it, nice and strong. I love it. I think I'm gonna mosey on over and get my weight. <laughs> we'll put it on the map. You guys are doing great. Woo!
Nice. So good. I love it. Come on. Nice and strong. Way to go. Look at those lunges. Woo, last one. Last one, take your rest. Oh, so good. Put your weights down right by your mat. Okay, we are going to go to that forearm position, but high in the air, like a dolphin, like we've done in yoga. Hold it here and take it to here. So we're going butt up, butt down. Now, as you do this, put your brain right there in your abs. If you, um, if it's, I don't need you to be way out in front of your elbows. So just, if you can't get to a regular low plank, no worries. If that's not working, just kind of come to wherever you need. Abs are in. Good. You're doing great. We have 10 seconds to go. Woo! And we're going to turn it to a side plank, but not yet. Last one. Ah, oh, nice. Turn it to your side plank. I'm realizing a towel out here would have been a great idea. <laughs> okay, side plank. 30 seconds each side. Don't let me forget. We're going to come up in our side plank. So let's lift it up right here. Take this top hand. Put it behind your head. Now you have options. This bottom knee could be bent, top leg in front, but you're in it. Your hips are lifted. Elbow to elbow, let's go. Elbow to elbow, rotation. We're rotating with the whole trunk. When I say switch sides, just roll over really quick. You know what you're doing. It's okay if you're facing the back. Okay, roll over, go. Lift it up, hold a few. Hold a few and go. Add your rotation in. See, I can rotate and look behind and see if you're doing it. <laughs> Unless you have your camera facing toward the ceiling. Woo! 10 seconds. Last one. Ah, uh, take it to your back. We're going to do skull crushers. Grab your weight on your back. Lift your hips up in a bridge, if it's okay with your back. Now just bend and straighten. Bend and straighten. You got it. Now, I actually am going to change this up, but I wanted to make sure we had this movement first. Now, I want you to do a bridge down, bridge up. Now, when you bend down again, pull those arms towards you. Bring them back. Straighten up. Bend them and pull. Bend, straighten, bend, pull. You got it. Bend, straighten, bend. Keep them bent as you pull. That's a move I tell you not to do a lot of times because you're working your back or shoulders along with your arms. But this time we're combining them. Woo! And last bend and straighten. Good. Y'all, just one more exercise. It's wipers. Take those legs up. Take those arms up. We're gonna make our legs be the primary mover. They're going to go side to side. Let's go. At first, I'm not even going to move my arms. They're staying stable. Now I'm going to add some movement after I've got the legs as the primary. And I'm going to take those weights side to side. You got it. Woo! Nice work. Good. So strong. I love this one. It's great for the core, the whole core. 
you feel that you've got um, the front of your abs, the side of your abs, <laughs> and your back. That's all part of your core, and it's all working. We have four seconds. Oh, nice work. Bring it up. Take a rest. And we're going to grab a drink. And we're actually going to go through that again. Yay. Woo. So good. Drink some water. Small sip. Now on this next one, I um, will give you a few ways that you could challenge even more if you want, if you need it. So if not, you're going to do the same thing you just did. Yeah, you'll be great. I didn't think about the sun rising and getting above the trees. Huh. Hope my lighting doesn't change too much for everyone. Okay, we're going to go again. That was a good rest you guys got. Good rest I got too. We're going to start with that butt kick run. If you want to travel in your space, if you want to go up and down your stairs, instead of, that might be tricky to do a butt kick high knee up and down your stairs. But this is just cardio. So do whatever is great for you. All right, ready and go, go. I think I'm gonna move a little bit. It makes me feel like I have a breeze. I'm pretending. <laughs> okay, time for some high knees. Pull them up, up, up. Lean back, let's go. Use those arms. Remember, you could pull and pull. Nice. Woo! All right, back to back kick. Go. Pull those knees up. We have 15 seconds. The timer stayed at one minute. We're doing one minute sets again. We've got this. Woo! High knees, butt kick. Mix it up. Five seconds. Oh, walk it out. Woo! High, low planks. High, low planks. Starting in seven seconds. Right here. Before you get started, squeeze your glutes, squeeze your thighs, go. Remember to switch out your lead arm. If anybody was wanting a lot more chest work, you could add a push-up when you come to your hands. We have push-ups in that, in another set, so. But you know, if you want more, add your push-up. Also, you could be on your knees. That's a good option if you need it. Right here. I still keep my hips forward. I don't let my butt push back. All right, keep it going. You have 13 seconds. Ah, oh, nice. Take a break. Woo, that was so good. All right, we have push-ups, knee taps, chin taps, toe taps, whatever. Ready for it? Here we go. Push-up and tap, go. Now you could do your push-ups on your knees, hips forward, and then you could come up to your toes and reach. <clears throat> so you choose. Either way, on your push-ups, I need you to squeeze your butt, squeeze your thighs, nice and tight. That's right, that looks good. You got it, woo! Oh, so close. 12 seconds to go. Stay strong. We'll come off of our hands after this one. Woo! One more. 
Ah, bring it up. Nice work. Okay, this is those speed skaters and jacks. We start in five seconds. I'm gonna move my weight so I don't trip. Always a good idea. Speed skater, let's go. Over, go. Now, some of you might want a full speed skater, speed skater jack. Speed skater, speed skater jack. I love cardio. Well, I don't love cardio, that's not true. I love that on the cardio, you can mix it up however you want. It's about you doing what's safe for your body. I'm not gonna lose all my water. That would be sad, I kicked it over. It was spilling out. Woo, keep it going. 20 seconds. Woo, almost there, finish strong. Ah, oh. nice, grab your weight, cross back lunge, bicep curl. Woo, your heart rate will be coming down. Starting in five. Ready, go. One leg behind the other. If this is too much on your knees, if you struggle with your knees, do regular reverse lunges or just do a standing curl. That's an option too, right? Woo, take it low. We call these moves, this whole workout, we could be defined as a metabolic strength training workout. We're keeping our metabolism going up while we work out from the intensity of our moves and we're training our muscles at the same time. Woo! 10 seconds. You got it. Five seconds. Last one. Oh, that felt challenging. Okay, we're going into those snatches. Put your weights down. Get ready. Alternating single arm snatch. Ready and go. Woo. You got it. Last and lift. Keep it moving. I'm gonna watch a few of these. Give me that flow. You're driving from the hips. Yes, that is good. Way to go. Woo, so strong. Nice, keep it moving. Now, if you want a different challenge, do one arm for four. Same arm and then switch it up. You'll probably go a little faster because you don't have to switch hands. It's just different, not better. That's different. Woo! Okay, even out or alternate. Almost there. Last one. Woo! Nice. One weight. We're gonna do those reverse lunge side squat. Overhead press. Start with your reverse lunge. When you step front, press up. Side, press. All right, I'm gonna back up so you can see me. Lunge, maybe lift a leg. Good, woo, nice. We'll switch legs halfway. Keep those feet hip width apart when you do your reverse lunge. Don't put it right behind the other. Switch legs, let's go. Be mindful of your equipment. I was, yeah, I catch myself not doing these things when I give you these cues sometimes. Whew. I shouldn't tell you those secrets. Nice and low, keep it going. Good, these look so, so good. Whew. I love it, you're almost there. Four seconds, finish strong. 
last one. Keep that one weight. You're gonna do that walking lunge, pulling by your front leg. So I got my front leg right here, I pull, and then I lift up and I go to the other. Go. Go. Good. I like to kind of swing it, a little swing pull. And as you swing pull, try not to rotate too much in the body. Work on anti-rotation in the core while you're pulling to the side. That looks awesome. Woo! You got it. Nice work. Woo! Beautiful. 20 seconds to go. Come on. Pull hard for me. Yeah. Awesome job. Nice lift. Good. Oh, guys, you're so strong. That looks amazing. Woo. Last one. Last one. Good work. Put your weight down. Okay, we're going to go to those dolphins. Butt in the air, abs back. Option, if you want to make it a little more intense, you can do dive bombers. I'm gonna start with the dolphin. I know a lot of you already know how to do those dive bombers. I'm just shifting my weight on this dolphin. Butt up, butt down. You might try it with your feet closer together. See if you feel it more in the abs. Here is a dive bomber, if you have done it and you want to join. Woo! And I push it back. And I go forehead, nose, chin, chest, tummy, and back. Either one of those are great moves. I like to say, you do you. We're not doing anyone else this morning. We are each one working safely to challenge ourselves. Woo! Last one. Oh, so good. Short breath. That's awesome. Okay, now we're going to do that side plank. Remember it? We're going to come up. Ready? Hand behind the head. And rotate. Now, if you want to take that arm up and bring it all the way under and touch your back, but not by using a big arm swing, but by using your core in a slow rotation, that's a great choice too. Woo, either one. That might help you rotate a little further. Try to get this elbow down by the other elbow. All right, turn it over, Kick. Lift it up and go. Hand behind the head or reaching behind. Go ahead and squeeze your butt and thighs on this one. Woo! Almost there. You look good. I saw you when I went behind my back. You're done. Okay, we have our back for our skull crushers and our pull. I'm going to do these this time with a reverse crunch. So I'm going to go skull crusher and then forward with a reverse crunch. Arm straighten and bend, pull, go. Straighten and bend, pull front. You can do it in the bridge like you did last time. That's all good. Woo! <clears throat> so strong. So we got to go straight up, bend. Pull, straighten, bend, pull. You got it. Woo, how about those arms? I'm feeling it. If you really need to, put one weight down and hold that one weight in two arms. But you're gonna make it. I know you can. We have 15 seconds to go. Woo, come on. Y'all, we're almost at the end of this set. Let's go. Five seconds, one more, each of them, and pull. Oh, 
<laughs> my arms are wiped. How about yours? Oh, speaking of wipes, we're doing wipers. What a great segue. Who knew? Okay, arms up, legs up. If your back bothers you, bend those legs. All right, here we go. All the way to the side. Other way. You got it. So think of how to challenge yourself. If you're good with this and your legs are kind of bent, like I do without thinking, try to lengthen them. They don't need to be locked, but try to lengthen them more and feel the difference. Try to get them another inch lower to the ground. Woo! You got it. So good. 20 seconds. Ah. Oh. Y'all, finish strong on this. We're almost to the end of this round. Can you believe it? Yeah, I can believe it too. Oh, Woo. back and core. Stabilization in the shoulders. One more each way. Oh, put those weights down. Woo. Take the inhale, exhale. Y'all, we're almost done. So, so good. But we're not quite, but we are almost, right? <laughs> it's like horseshoes. When does that almost finish? All right. Or when does it count? Okay, rock, front and back. Bring it up. Can you come all the way up without using those hands? I know you can. Grab a drink. All we have left is a finisher. My, uh, my BFF and her mom, who's also my second BFF, just came to see what this crazy person is doing in their driveway. And yeah, they've known me for a long time, so they know how crazy I am. Really crazy to be in pants out here in the heat. Mm -hmm. But you're all crazy too, so there you go. Okay, we're gonna do our finisher. We're gonna do that snatch, just like you did. Snatch like you did. But we're going to do four of them each side, each arm, four, each arm. Then we're just going to do a single arm right here. And I want you to do eight of these. So one and two and three, right? Like that. All right, you have eight of them. Then you're going to take it down to your mat right here. And we're going to do eight sit-ups. Eight sit-ups right here. All right, so that's what we got. Our count is eight. So snatch four, each arm, one, two on single arm swings, and then eight sit-ups. Then you're gonna start over. We're only doing it three minutes, three minutes. Let me set my timer. You know you want me to do that. All right, ready for it? Starting with snatches. Ready and go. Go. So you have four of these. Each arm. Go. You got it. Then you go into swings right here. These drive from the hips. You have eight of them. Eight total. And you're taking it down. Give me that sit up. Eight of them. You can do any variation that feels good, not really good, on your back and core. Might help you just to do a crunch. Woo! All right. I'm starting over. As soon as you finish, you start over two. Your count is eight on everything. Woo! You got it. Going into these swings. You got it. Woo! Nice. Looks good. You know sit-ups are next. As soon as you did eight. I know. I can't, if you were watching me, I did it to the side because I came up to watch you. You do what you're supposed to do. So good. So 
go. We have about a minute 15 to go. Keep it going. Finish strong. Abs are in. Drive from the hips. Woo! Remember your swings. I was kind of hoping the sprinklers would come on sometimes during my workout and hit me, but they didn't do it. Summer. <laughs> Woo! Oh, keep going. Sit ups are next for me. The timer went dark. I want to tell you where we're at. 40 seconds to go. Finish it strong. Snatch, swing, sit ups. Eight, eight, eight. Go. Good. That looks awesome. Woo! Way to go. Way to go. Seconds to go. I'm sweating so much my AirPods won't stay in my ears. <laughs> That's gross, right? <laughs> and done. Time is going off. Don't even know. Oh, there it is. Woo! Y'all, so, so good. That was awesome. Turning off that timer. Woo! Way to go. Nice. We're going to do a few stretches together. Let's grab a sip of water first. That's a good idea. Now, I'm going to start in a standing stretch and let my heart rate come down. I'm going to take one leg behind. Just have both heels flat, if you can get them. And remember, your feet are about tip width apart. If you have one in front of the other, you lose your balance. So whether you're lunging or stretching in a lunge, I'm pulling across right here. You got it. Good. Just take some inhale, exhale. Try to relax your shoulders. Maybe pull. Keep that shoulder dropped and pull a little more. Woo! Let's switch sides. Other one, take it back right here and pull. Both of my heels are on the ground. That might not work for you. That might be what you're working toward. That's great. Inhale, exhale. All right, come up. Now we're gonna take one leg behind us and pick it up and grab if you can. So you could grab your shoe. If you have long pants on, you could grab your pants. You can grab your foot. You're just holding that stretch. You can hold on to the wall, something beside you. Good, you're doing great. This stretches out the front of our sides. Let's switch sides. Other one, pulling back. Good. Nice job. All right. We're going to take both arms up. Bring it all the way front. Feel that hamstring stretch. Look at your knees. Stretch side to side. Come on back up. Take your right leg, cross it over the left. Take your left arm and reach it over to the right. That is gonna stretch all the way, even through your IIT band, like all the way down the side of that body. Oh, bigger. This hand is gently pushing and bring it up. Let's go the other way. Lean it over. So I've got my left over my right. Got my right arm reaching over. Nice big pull. Deeper. Bring it up. Open and close. Open and close. Open and close. Whew. Big inhale and exhale. 